In Madden 19, crossing routes are really OP. In this video, I'm going to break down how to shut them down using the crossman. Hey, this is Time Bomb. If it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to do a breakdown on cross manning and how I'm using it to shut down a lot of these crossing routes. So remember to hit that like button. Uh, helps out the channel a ton if you can do that. And yeah, hit subscribe if you hadn't, the bell notification or whatever. So let's get into this breakdown. So I'm going to use uh, this PAY shot for the offense. I'm coming out of the uh, Patriots playbook and I'm using the Bengals here. I like to use the wide nine, which you know, it probably works with any other one But I just I just like this one. I feel like it helps actually uh, with the run stopping actually because this is a uh, play works really well against the run run support as well Especially with two wide outs. It does a great job shutting it down Sometimes when you have three uh, wide receivers out on the field, I notice actually gets it gets uh, beat a little worse so let's take a look at the cover four quarters here against it so First of all, I'm just gonna I'm gonna actually show you something here that I've noticed because of the settings, and we'll see how the difference do. So I'm gonna show you the basic setup first of all here. Uh, what we're gonna do is shade underneath, put that three receiver hook into a deep blue, and then put X into a little hook, vert hook. That's gonna be your user right there, that end. So you might wanna substitute in a linebacker there or someone you can get there. You're only gonna send three guys pressure there, those three. Now with your safeties, you're gonna use them on Gonzalez and Rice here. We know they're the ones who are running the crossers against you. That's who we need to cover. So the third one, Moss on the outside, we're not really as worried about. We're gonna use him if he comes over the middle or whatever, if he's running a drag, we might pass him off once he gets to the hard flat, that kind of thing. He should be covered there, but we will keep an eye on him. So first of all, that's the basic setup, but there's two last things that I'm gonna do after that, but I'm gonna show this play on offense, first of all. Okay, so check this out here. We're gonna throw to X when he's like coming across here. Boom. Shut down. That's right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So just him making that play isn't going to happen every time, but it's going to give you a better chance of it happening. Let's show that again. Okay, and so again, for the setup for the defense is you're going to put them in hard flats, put Y into a deep blue, and then you're gonna put X into a little vert hook there. That's gonna be your user. Then you're gonna switch Y manning up A and your A manning up X. And for this, this I'm using the safeties here and I do in mud as well. If you really wanted to, you could uh, substitute maybe some, some CBs in there and maybe that'll help you make it a little bit easier. So again, for the offense here, got that streak happening. And let's watch X cutting across here. He seems to be a little more open. See, okay, so he's getting a little more open there. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's not 100%. Sometimes he will play it. But what I found that actually really helps make sure that your opponent, or not that your opponent, so your opponent can't make that play all the time is really going to limit it, is this little trick I'm going to show you now to make the adjustment. Same thing. Going to man everyone up. Man up rice. Got them in there, got the hard flats out on the field, got my user, it's all the same. But the one change that I'm gonna make that's gonna take it above that like 60% chance or whatever it is, is I'm gonna shade outside and I'm gonna protect the sticks. Now, when I do this now, I think it's almost 100% that he's gonna make a play now here outside. Well, I even use play action, but let's see, that's not gonna do it. But you can see they're just following him so much better getting in there to make the SWAT. I didn't even switch to the defensive controller. Once you make those changes, it gets 10 times easier. And we'll just make sure we'll do that without play action on this time. Uh, so again, we're just gonna put them into hard flats, put the deep blue and our user out on the field. We're gonna cross man on those guys running the cross routes. And the last thing that we're gonna do, that's gonna make this shut down on those crossing routes, is we're gonna go and shade outside, and then we're gonna protect the sticks. So again, let's watch this. This is gonna shut down this route 
going outside here. Boom. See, they're picking him up. See, it doesn't look as good, but then watch them jump in. See? Get in there late. They're going to make the play even because it's almost like they're spotlit, like just naturally by doing this play. So this play has been really shut down for me, and it's not the kind of thing that I'm running it every down. I don't think it is an every down type play. I like to run my nickel normal, but then... When I see them, what they're doing, kind of really zeroing in on that, that's when I'll throw this at them, and that's why it really works for me to get sacks and picks because they're just like, wait, what's going on? Like, it just throws people because they're not used to it. And I think protecting the sticks, what it really does is it helps those two outside halves still play the outside because there's a, there's a tendency, I think, when there's – uh, one wide out, they can switch to like a, a, a man match. So it, it can happen sometimes, but I think protecting the sticks and shading outside is what helps them stay outside there so they don't get drawn into the middle because you've got that deep blue watching the middle. You've got the guys manned up. They should be generally in that areas before the routes get there. So there should be coverage in most areas. So you don't really want them sucking to the middle as well. You need them kind of out there for help just in case, you know, they run a, a fade or a streak or whatever. You don't want that to just get open or a little slant underneath. Just whatever it is, it helps out there, I think, and just protects that side. So let's take a look at some of the gameplay footage I have for this play as well. So here we see I've got it cross manned up. And this is a run play. And like I was saying, it does a great job uh, getting some run stops for me. Here again, you see he's only got one wide receiver out there. Pretty heavy formation. This is able to shut those down. A lot of space. It seems like he should be able to shoot those gaps. But again, under center with one wide out, shutting it down. Big hit. Almost take, I look like the kind of hit that's going to make him fumble as well. So here we are again. We see he's got that cross man set up. It seems like covering everything. Looks over the middle. Has a lot of room. Throws it up there. And we're can't get anything with it we're not able to pick it off but we knock that ball down tons of swats and knocks down so we have guys in the area to defend those things crossing routes everything cutting over again he's looking up top we're able to click on shut that down we had a second guy coming in who's almost able to make a play on that that tip drill ball here we go i see my user shutting down the low middle then, then passing off looking off top my opponent rolling out pressure getting in there he's able to shake loose on the hit throw one up but it, see but a lot of times when those plays kind of happen your opponent is able to capitalize and get a dumb catch but i think just the way this is developing if you're watching right with your user over the middle you should be able to cover those stupid kind of plays and stop your opponent from making those run backs with vic where they just like huck it up and get a prayer and are able to catch on you no no none of that here again, my opponent dropping back, pressure getting in there, you get a sack. So that's the thing too, when you use it as a mix-up play, it's going to help you get some sacks on your opponent as well, just because they aren't used to seeing it. Here again, he's looking for things to develop, pressure gets in there before it can. Here I'm actually using the deep blue, rather than uh, letting him go free, just get a little extra pressure in there. That's another way you can mix it up, you know, if you're... If you need to get a little extra pressure rather than uh, usering that end, you can use that middle linebacker in the deep blue, but that's more responsibility for you. But then it'll help you get those sacks in there as well. Here again, I'm usering Kerrigan on this play, just watching a little slant over the middle. And then I see that it kind of passes off. This looks like the uh, looks like a halfback wheel. We're able to get that sack fumble, though, once he does. Maybe it wasn't halfback wheel. So on this play, you can see my user right over the middle, using that middle linebacker and shutting over the middle of the field. He just kind of has to huck one up under pressure, and I'm able to user lurk it right there. This play, I see it cross man. This looks like uh, it's a good chance this is halfback wheel kind of coming at it. Uh, motions the one guy over, yeah, and he gets the crossing roads, has to put it up, but we're able to kind of knock it down, and get a little uh, interception from it. Okay, so this next play here, this is, yeah, halfback wheel. We see that wheel route kind of developing up the side, and then my user's kind of ready to pick it up as it passes the cloud. And right when it passes the cloud, that's when I click in on the stick so that the, uh, the cloud flat then, like a spy, it will then go at the QB and get the pressure in there. So boom, get that hit stick fumble again. Very similar to that last play, but that, so you can just see that it shut down. Halfback wheel, no problem here. You know, we got them manned up on the routes, uh, going deep and cutting over the middle, so they're covered. And that's all he's got left to, to roll out to the side with is that wheel route, which I locked down, and he's able to uh, get that sack fumble on him. 
So this next play here, we're talking about Pat Sale coming against us. So in this one, you can see I have the 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 the, the, the <laughs> that Pat's crossing route, the one that's like a post that's so dangerous and hard to cover. You see it basically going to be on lockdown coming across the fields here you see the uh, man cover, picks him up so he's trying to roll outside and just the on lockdown out there he can't make that play which is you know one of the most dangerous routes in the game so if you've got that on lockdown then that's kind of half the battle if you can get that shut down then your opponent's gonna get very frustrated that's when they're gonna quit the game so this is a great way to shut down all those crossing routes using your cross manning so let me know what you think about this video hit that subscribe button give it a like I've been Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you guys later. Boom, boom.